Fallout 4 has a lot of guns. However, most of them are uh, really ugly and boring, so I did the appropriate thing by replacing all of them with a bunch of gun mods. I may have went overboard though, because I ended up adding over a hundred gun mods to my game. I literally have so many guns now that it's nearly impossible to use all of them. I really hate to neglect using such beautiful guns, so I came up with a brilliant solution. I added in a weapon randomizer mod, which will replace my weapon with each kill. Basically, it's a just like gun game from Call of Duty, but the order of the guns is completely random. So now I'm forced to use every single gun mod that's in my game. Some are pretty awesome and highly effective while others are uh, downright terrible and nearly impossible to get a kill with. Like, I actually added in a nerf gun and a throwing shoe just for shits and giggles. Most of these gun mods are available to NPCs as well. Some will spawn in with dinky pipe guns, while others may spawn in with overpowered laser guns. And to make it even more chaotic, I increased enemy spawns and random encounters, meaning that no matter where I go, there will always be something hunting me down. All across the board, my fate is completely dependent on luck. But hopefully, with enough skill, I'll be able to beat the house's odds. Not only will I have to adapt to using terrible weapons on the fly, but I'll also have to be fighting the game itself, because I loaded up Fallout 4 with over 700 mods in total. And uh, to be honest, I didn't make sure that everything was well optimized, so there's gonna be plenty of bugs, balancing issues, and crashes to deal with. Now I just have to figure out if it's even possible to beat the game this way. As always, things start out in the character creation menu. Of course, I had to go with GigaChad for this playthrough. The GigaChad build would be absolutely necessary to survive the high volatility of the randomizer. And yes, that is me you're seeing on the side of your screen. Uh, surprise face reveal, I guess. If it ain't obvious, I did livestream this playthrough, but this time I bought a shitty little web camera so you can see my face. It's not very good, honestly. But don't worry, I will be upgrading to some better equipment soon. Anyway, let's get this randomizer run started. For the first weapon, I'll be picking up the Vault Riot Shield. Yes, I added in a freaking Call of Duty Riot Shield mod too. But anyway, this is the first and last time I'll be picking up a weapon to use it. From here on out, I'm only allowed to use weapons I get from the randomizer. Otherwise, I'd be able to trade out my squirt gun for a flamethrower, and that would be way too easy. I can still pick up weapons to sell them, I just can't use them in combat. So I am fully subjecting myself to the will of the randomizer. Let's see what I get after this first kill. Let's see, are the lasers gonna kill him? Oh, I got him. We got the FG-42, baby! Let's go. Okay, the Beretta M9. What the fuck, is this thing bugged? I shot that thing so many times. Okay. Okay, got him. Now we got the Street Sweeper. Prototype Gauss Rifle. I'm getting some good weapons already. Watch, I'm gonna get something bad. Okay, we're still getting good weapons. Eventually, I will get a really bad one, though. I'm getting really lucky so far. I'm surprised. I got the shit! I got the intervention! Okay, I got the trench gun now. Let's go. I got a shield. Dude, I'm destroying these bugs. I have an invisible pistol. This is bug. The f ah, the nerf gun! Let's go! Hold on, I need, to add in, I need to add in the nerf darts. Oh yeah, that's one thing I should mention. I was able to add in all my modded weapons to the randomizer, but uh, for some reason, the modded ammunition wasn't showing up. I tried for hours to make it work, but the ammunition simply refused to spawn into my inventory at the start of the game. So I just said, screw it, I'm gonna do it the hard way. Basically, whenever I get a weapon with modded ammunition, I'll just have to manually add in the ammunition with a cheat menu. And no, this doesn't break any rules. This weapon randomizer is designed to be used with infinite ammunition. Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't be able to use the guns that you get from the randomizer. Okay, glad that's cleared up. Now let's see if I can uh, get a kill with a nerf gun. Let's go, baby! We got the Fortnite scar! Let's go! Woo! Yeah, that's what we've been waiting for! It does two damage. So you can kill things with this nerf gun. Oh. Let's get it. He <laughs> just bash it. <laughs> we made it out of the vault. No deaths. Only took like two points of, of damage too, so that was pretty good. And so, I had escaped the vault with no deaths. 
So far, the run was looking pretty easy, but those were just mere rat roaches. Don't worry guys, you'll see plenty of suffering soon. Ugh. Oh no! My arch nemesis! The Assaultron head! I thought I took this thing out. Ooh! Oh, the Kami Whacker? I did leave a few vanilla weapons in there. Just, you know, why not? Just because they're really shitty. Ugh! Stupid ants. Survivor special. Nice. Ooh, I got a skewer now. Let's go, baby. Get out of here. Ooh. How am I supposed to... Okay, there we go. Ooh, okay, I got a Tommy gun now. Let's go, baby. Those things are kind of chewing away at my health, actually. Where is... <laughs> Did you just hear Codsworth? Sir, I'm dying. What did you get hit by? Did Cosworth actually just die? Oh, he's dead. I think I have, uh... Essential actors disabled. Whoops. Cosworth is dead forever now. Whatever. Don't worry about it. Whoops. Am I, I might have to disable that mod. <laughs> yeah, rip bozo. <laughs> Poor guy. Yep. Codsworth was permadead. Turns out, I did have essential actors disabled. Meaning that every single NPC in the game could die. Permanently. I probably should have turned it back on right after this moment, but I said screw it because I didn't feel like rebooting my game. It's not like this could possibly have any devastating, irreversible effects on the playthrough anyway. Oh god. It's an Eldritch Rattler. I don't even see him. Okay. Oh no, not the Syringer. Dude, the Syringer is actually horrible. <laughs> this is probably the worst. This is probably worse than the Nerf gun, actually. Just go kill like a roach with it. See, look how slow it is, man. It takes forever. I think it'll kill him, though. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, okay. The XM2010. No, not the acid soaker! Who <laughs> gets get some stinkers now? Oh, that's a giant gecko. It doesn't even have the range. It does not even have the range! <laughs> look at that! This thing is freaking pathetic. I'll try and just kill like a mole rat with this thing. I do not want to try and kill a big animal with this little squirt gun. I'd rather use the thirst sapper, honestly. It's that bad. I'll go and just keep it to where there's no companions. Make it as hard as possible. Why not? What the hell was that? I'm being burned alive. I died. It was the gecko. Literally the gecko ambushed me out of nowhere. I literally thought he ran away like over there or something. And then he snuck up on me. Damn. Bro got me real good on that one. There he is! This thing is balls. Okay, this is doing no damage. Oh god. As you can see, I was outmatched in this scenario. There was no way I could take on a fire gecko with an acid soaker, but I did have a contingency plan in place for when a situation as this arises. It's simple. Run away, find a weaker enemy to kill, then come back with a usable gun. I can't even hit the damn thing. This range is so terrible. That's a that's a big rat. I immediately regret my decision. If I just keep spamming, it'll work. Okay, hold on. I can actually get this. I can't see. Okay. If this thing actually didn't... Oh, there we go. Yes, okay. Okay, I got a... Uh... It says IMI SF-58. Sometimes the weapons don't automatically equip. Sometimes that happens, but... Got him. Ooh, Mossberg. Let's go. Whew, we got rid of the Thirst Zapper. Or not, the, the Acid Soaker. Thank goodness, we got rid of that thing. Alright, where's the gecko at? I have a usable weapon now, I can kill him. Hello. Got him. That was easy. Oh god! Not the paddle ball! <laughs> oh. Of course. There's a little bug over here I can go kill. Watch, this little... This oversized mosquito is gonna whip my ass. That's a glowing one too. Oh, he's already half health. Okay, I'm just gonna punch him. Oh, great. I'm... I'm losing, losing a lot of HP. There's a bear. So I'm just... I'm gonna die from this. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> I can get him. I can get him, don't worry. <laughs> no, no. No. Maybe we can kill a deer? That's a really big deer, actually. It's a prime rad stag. That's a humongous deer. Look at that. Look at the size of that thing. Let's get the little baby deer. We can get him. Do yeah. I pushed his head off! Okay. 
Oh, wait, is this the fort? Ah, oh, I got the nerf gun! <laughs> I got the nerf gun right after the paddle ball. That's hilarious. So now that Red Rocket and Sanctuary were clear, it was time to head to Concord so I could join the Minutemen. However, I would have to head into a war zone with a literal nerf gun. But before we go any further, I have to ask, do you like guns? Yeah? Well, I bet you like weaponized vehicles too. That's right, boys. It's War Thunder back at it again with the sponsor. War Thunder is easily the most comprehensive vehicular combat game ever made. You can engage in large-scale multiplayer battles with either planes, helicopters, tanks, or even warships. And my goodness, there's over 2,000 of them, all of which are highly detailed and very realistic. What I especially like about War Thunder is their commitment to maximum immersion. You actually have to shoot the vehicles in their weak spots to deal considerable damage. Some people may say it's frustrating having your shells bounce off another tank, but to that I say, it is simply a skill issue. You can make things even more immersive by joining the simulator mode, or you can keep it more casual with arcade. Either way, there's something for everyone. The best part is that War Thunder is completely free to play. It's available on both consoles and PC. You can download War Thunder right now using my link in the description. If you're a new player, or if you haven't played in six months, then my link will also grant you an epic premium bonus pack. It's... okay. <laughs> We're almost there. We're getting closer. There's a few more hits. A few more. My game crashed. Okay. There's one crash on the board. Hey, yep. All that work just for my game to crash. It seems that both the randomizer and the game itself do not want me to succeed. But that doesn't matter. They are no match for my indomitable human spirit. We can get him. We can get a critical headshot on him. I did no damage. <laughs> okay, we got him. <laughs> Imagine dying from a nerf gun, bro. That'd be... Dude. That would be so embarrassing. Imagine you, like... You survive like several years in the in the in the nuclear apocalypse just to be killed by some random guy with a Fortnite nerf gun. <laughs> nice. Ooh, 1911. Let's go, baby. Smoked him. Ooh, I got the concrete sledgehammer. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> Dude, he smacked their head into little bits. All right, watch. I'm gonna use the right show. I'm gonna block all these shots. Look, it actually works. It actually works, guys. See? Oh, here's a freaking. Look, maybe he's actually hitting me through it. Never mind. I think it's because he's shooting my legs. Ow! He just shot his. He just shot his buddy. Oh, got a shotgun. Nice. Okay, I was gonna try and just, okay, like shoot through the wall. Before you comment and say, um, actually, you can't shoot through walls in Fallout 4. I know. However, I do have a mod that enables wall banging. For some reason, though, the 380 bullet specifically was bugged and it couldn't penetrate drywall. Unfortunately, I found that out the hard way. I guess it doesn't work. Oh no! Oh, he watched. Oh, dude! Oh no! <laughs> This thing can't shoot through walls for some reason. It should be able to. Oh well. Okay, we got him that time. I have an invisible gun. <laughs> I think the mouser's bugged. It was supposed to be a mouser, but it the model was bugged, so it's a it was a finger gun. <laughs> yeah, bugs are a common theme you'll see in this ultra modded weapon randomizer. I did pump my game full with a bunch of random gun mods after all, and I didn't spend much time making sure that they all worked properly. So in a way, I was using the randomizer as a fun way to sort through the mods that were bugged and the ones which were perfectly balanced with no issues at all. Jeez. Got him. Ooh, look at the ash. Oh, hold on. This thing would shred the Deathclaw easy. Let's go, baby. Oh, it's a glowing death claw. Oh, he's already almost... Oh, dude. oh no, the raider killed him. Oh, that's cool, because I get to keep my gun. Oh, let's go, WA... It's the WA-2K. I have no ammunition. Hold up. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Ow. I think a lot more recoil than I expected. Oh, yeah, my flashlight doesn't work. Oh, did Preston die? Whoops. Okay. Whoopsie. <laughs> I guess we can't do that quest. <laughs> How did he die? Oh, wait, do I? 
<laughs> Let's just leave him dead. Let's just leave him dead. Who cares? <laughs> he was just laying on the ground dead, bro. What the fuck? Uh, re remember what I said earlier about devastating, irreversible effects? Yeah, well, I was still right about that part, because Preston being dead was a huge blessing. Now, I don't have to worry about his constant nagging. So, with Preston dead, I decided it was best to go with the Brotherhood instead. I just had to get to Cambridge without dying a million times. What do you do if you get a water gun while fighting a Deathclaw? <laughs> Run away? <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna do? Nothing I can do! I'll just travel back here and go rest for a second. Uh, who is- What are you doing- What is Gary doing at my house? How- What are you shooting at, Gary? Gary! Are we shooting at a Cazador? Is that a Cazador? That's a bee. A giant bee. Gary's mad at me. Hold on, I gotta blow his head off with a Winchester 1897. Oh. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I saw- I saw his eyeballs pop out of his skull. Poor Gary. Gary, no! <laughs> Gary, I know. I was wrong. I messed up and now you're gone. Yeah, let me go find something else. Let me go find something big to kill first. What the hell is that thing? That thing's huge. See, sometimes when I get a kill, the game also just might randomly crash. I might get a new weapon or or just maybe the game will just crash. It's, 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 it's a part of the mod, guys. I put that there on purpose, actually, you know. Make it more interesting, obviously. I swear I heard... Yeah, there we go. Ooh, PKM! There he is. Oh, he's fighting the Yagwai. The Yagwai's coming after me now. No! I'm gonna help you. Oh, great. Now I have to kill the tank with the Steskin. Oh, there's another... There's another Yagwai! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> if I click this, I die. <laughs> I'm dead. Yep, I got mauled by a bear. That was unfortunate. Womp womp. <laughs> this guy, bro. Womp womp. I see Jack shooting him. Shoot. Oh, there we go. I smoked him. Ooh, Remington. Whoa! Uh, I got st Okay. I'm dead again. I need to get up on, like, this train car and just shoot him from a distance. Just put rounds down range and see what happens. I can't really see what I'm shooting at, but some of these bullets got a hit. Hmm. He's coming over here, but he's gonna die. There we go. This would be a good bear killer. Ooh! That was nasty. Absolutely sniped him. God, I. Dude, the irons on this thing are absolutely horrible. How are you gonna tell me that aliens made iron sights that look like this? Look at that. How am I supposed to aim with that? I can't see what I'm shooting at. This is literally a toy. But it's actually alien technology. Oh, that was it. I think that was it. I think the textures on my gun are kind of glitched out here. This looks weird. Uh-oh. I'll be fine. I can survive this. I'm losing health kind of rapidly, though, so uh, let's just spam more bandages. I'll be fine. If you, guys, if you guys are ever on fire, you don't need to stop, drop, and roll. Just spam bandages until you're fine. That's how I do it. A gunner colonel versus a freaking pipe gun made of valves. Who will win? I can't even see him. He's head glitching so hard. You gotta be kidding me. <gasps> I got him! Oh, there's another one! There's more! <laughs> I saw the dude right in the face. I didn't even see what I was aiming at. That's hilarious. Dude! <laughs> that was so legendary. That was so clutch. Oh, he was 1 HP. Oh. Whew. That was a close encounter right there. I ended that with a knife. If there was one more, he would have shot me. Dude. <laughs> that was so stupid. The freaking little shitty pipe gun. Shot him right in the face with a 308 pipe gun. Nice. Now I can't see my character. I can't see the Giga Chad, but... It's a nice armor, though. Now I gotta kill someone with a knife. Uh, Let's go find, like, a little... Oh, I can go to, like, the Mole Rat. Junkyard over there, go kill a mole rat. That'll be easy. Nice. Ooh. 1911, baby. My 45 ACP. My two world wars. Huh. Damn. They weren't lying about that 45 ACP. That shit hit kind of hard. Freaking, why is the pipe wrench in here? 
This thing's kind of bad. Okay. Oh, so I got a bow. Dude, these rats are so huge! Jesus! <laughs> the New York City rats. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's like the average New York rat, for real. I'm gonna go help out Paladin Dance, you know? If he survives. I hope he survives. Maybe, like, everyone... Oh, my game crashed. That's unfortunate. At this point, I'm gonna have more crashes than deaths. I was gonna say, I might want to turn off the, uh... The thing that kills all the NPCs in the game. <laughs> okay, yeah. All NPCs killable. And I turn that off. Because I would actually like to complete the game. Oh no, I got ambushed. <laughs> Sheesh. Throwing shoe! <laughs> I got the throwing shoe, let's go! Let's go, baby. I also got a donation there too at the same time. That's perfect timing, man. He said, based in F. Preston Garvey pills. Nice. So now we've got the throwing shoe. I'm also floating at the same time. So let's let's use the throwing shoe. Let's see if I can kill someone with it. I did hit him. Can I pick it back up? I can pick it back up! Okay, I'm gonna try and kill him with the throwing shoe, actually. Let's see if we can kill him. Nice, okay. Getting there. I can, I can actually do this, I can actually do this. Oh, he's in the way. Oh no, where's my throwing shoe? There it is! <laughs> this is so stupid! I feel like I'm playing COD Zombies. I'm literally training these ghouls right now, like it's COD Zombies. You know what, maybe I'll just let these guys shoot at the ghouls. Oh, that dude has a flamethrower. He's killing all my ghouls, I need those. Okay, I'm running away, see ya. I'm not gonna use a throwing shoe against an M2 flamethrower. The Germans tried that. They died. Don't worry guys, I will, I will find at least one, one thing to kill with this shoe. There's my goal. <gasps> I can kill the kid! Where'd my shoe go? Oh, there it is, okay, never mind. But if I if, if I do so happen to lose the throwing weapon, then I'll just punch him to death, you know? But if I do have it, I am gonna try and kill him with it, because it's funny. Kill the kid with the shoe. One more hit, one more hit, we got him, we got him. There we go, baby, I killed the kid with the shoe. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I just <laughs> murdered that kid with the freaking shoe, man. This dude said this brings back memories of when I was a child. <laughs> Bro, I think you need to call CPS, man. I got a fucking shuriken now. You kidding me? I'm trying to kill this guy. Wow. That throw up was pretty strong. Threw up and he man died, and I died instantly. I didn't think it would do that much damage. Pure concentrated Taco Bell puke, yeah. Jeez, that shit was nasty. Oh, great, there's another tank over there. Okay, um... I probably should have not killed that one... Oh, there we go. Fuck. Oh, great, got a Bali song. Got a butterfly knife. This tank is really stupid. Hello? Can I sprint? Uh-oh. Paladin, do something! Yeah. Wow. Those throw-up zombies are actually, they're actually overpowered. I was like full health. Oh, great. <laughs> look at the, look at the nerf gun. <laughs> at least it's fully auto, so, it, you know. Also got some good fire rate. Fortnite Battle Pass. I just shit out my ass. <laughs> I've gotten this nerf gun three times now, I think. It's so bad. It does no damage. It doesn't help that my frames are like at 50 right now. I need to have 240 FPS or else I can't aim. Average PC player would be like, we're, we're getting closer, we're getting closer, don't worry. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, the puke zombie! Ah! Oh! He's getting nerfed. Yep, I, I ban him. Yeah, guys, I ban him. I ban him now. I ban him. And yes, I am being serious when I said he's getting nerfed. I literally quit the game, booted up Fallout 4 edit, and then nerfed his damage values. Because god dang, I should not be getting one shot by spicy Taco Bell puke. 
And no, this ain't cheating. My game is heavily modded, and uh, most of the time, these mods aren't balanced properly to work with each other. So whenever I discover something that is clearly unbalanced and not working as intended, then yeah, I am gonna fix it and make it perfectly balanced. So now with all of that sorted, it's time to go back into Cambridge and help out Paladin Dance. Ooh, hey, you know, scoped. Ooh, with the AR-10, okay. This is a good pick. Let's see if I can destroy the tank with this one. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's low. This thing's pretty good. Ooh, okay. Laser gun. Ooh! Smoked him. Uh-oh. I gotta... Re oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh! I killed him from burn damage or whatever. I missed. Doesn't matter. Get the kukri. <laughs> Whoa! What an entrance that was! Oh, Ash 12, let's go. This is getting crazy at this point. Let's go! Dude, I'm switching so fast! Wow. There's still, there's still more of them. We're not done yet. Is this the GM6 Lynx? <laughs> no scope. I got a throwing fork! Oh no. I missed. Okay. Now I gotta punch something. The fucking throwing fork, bro. Oh no. Sheesh. <laughs> I, th I think we're. Okay. Ooh, I got the M249 saw, which look at that. That's a that's a good one. I like that one. Whenever it's a, a freaking ghoul rampage. That makes the the weapon randomizer really shine. That was crazy. I'm surprised my game didn't crash from all that. That was something, man. That was actually so fun, dude. <laughs> Swapping between all those weapons. I got the freaking throwing fork in the middle of it, man. That was hilarious. Now with the ferals dead, it was time to go on a mission to Arcjet. But this would be the mission that would absolutely break me. Little did I know, I was going to face my biggest challenge yet. The insta-kill laser gun. Ow. Ooh. Owie. That was brutal. Dude, they insta-slayed me. Dude, I don't know what it is. These, these aliens are not aliens. I'll try it one more time, just like to, just to see I can, if I can overcome these overpowered monsters with pure skill. Trying to ambush them from the trees, you know? Gotta be very tactical about it. Got one. I think it was two of them, right? Or was it just one? Nice, okay, I got him. I overcame them with pure skill, as you can see. Does 39 damage, which is pretty solid. This gun's definitely not a joke, but it should not be one-shotting people, though. I had won the battle here, but don't worry. There were going to be plenty more insta-kill laser guns right down the road. Nice. Oh, dude! I got the food paste! I got the pie! I got the throwing pie! Let's go, baby! This, this is, that's hilarious. Let's see if I can kill something with the throwing pie. <laughs> That's a big ass beat. Let me see if I can kill it with the food paste. It just oh, it just bounced off. I'm gonna. There's no way. That thing has way too much HP. Paladin, do something. Kill it. I beg of you, Paladin. Whoa! I wonder if I can kill with this. Okay, you got him. All right. Try to take a guess. Oh, that's a night strike. Oh, it's a low health. Got him. I got the throwing shoe! That's hilarious! Ow. I can punch him. There we go. Okay. Whew. Got a usable gun now. Let's go. Let's go kill this radcoon. Oh, sweet. I got the invisible mouser. <laughs> I'll just, uh... Oh. I'll worry about that later. Hopefully he doesn't come inside. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I escaped the river. Oh, dude! It's the freaking... <laughs> it's the... <laughs> it's the chicken with the J's, man. Sheesh! How did I miss that? How am I missing? Get out of here. Give me your J's, bro. Oh, guys, this puzzle's too advanced for me. <laughs> Average Bethesda puzzle be like... Click button. Open door. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that's a really nice sound. 
That's actually a realistic, like... Okay, I'm missing. Here we go. See, this one... It's like, do you, you guys notice the difference? The SV-98 had a realistic, like, interior echo. But then this M1A has, like... It just sounds regular. So I really appreciate when mod authors make it to where, like, they have, like, interior sounds that echo around. That's pretty cool. That was very immersive. Alright, Paladin, you, you do the work. I don't want to stab freaking robots with a knife. I don't think, uh, slash damage is too good against robots. Seriously? On your feet, soldier. We are leaving. Maybe I could stab this one. Oh, ooh! I just blew up. The hallway- Oh, the whole entire hallway's full of gas? Oh. I forgot about that. The fucking battle ball, man. <laughs> fucking one shot. That's a little bit much, don't you think? Ooh, a thunder stick. This one's interesting. Ooh! Oh, yeah. Nice. That, okay, that was good. The freaking uh, Tesla cannon carried right there. Dude! Okay. That laser... I need to nerf that laser gun. That laser gun's way too good right now. Okay. Yeah, it's literally... It's, it's a, it's a one-shot, so... I'm gonna fix that before I go any further, actually. That is way too good. Yeah, at this point, I had enough of the insta-kill laser beams. It's pretty obvious that they're blatantly overpowered, so I hopped into Fallout 4 edit to nerf their base damage. Now let's go back into the game to see how perfectly balanced they are. Okay, definitely kill- oh wait- Okay. It's still overpowered. It's still overpowered. Uh, yeah. Uh, the one-shot laser guns are still one-shotting me. Something was definitely bugged with their damage calculation. For some reason, this laser gun with a supposed 35 base damage was killing me in one shot, and I had about 200 HP. Not only that, but they were insta-killing Paladin Dance, too, so it was probably doing over like 500 damage, even though I set it to do 35. I couldn't figure out how to fix this at the moment, so I made a, uh, tactical retreat. I figured it would be best to come back with better armor anyway, so my goal for now was to gather as many armor plates as I could, because, uh, so far, I had none, which meant I was losing out on some serious protection. Surely, this barge full of raiders would be a great place to find armor plates, and it would be much easier than having to deal with those one-shot synths at Arcjet. Nice. Oh! I just got one-shot by a double barrel. Oh yeah, there's no sights on this thing. Volume by accuracy- or no, accuracy by volume? <laughs> volume by accuracy? <laughs> Oh, great, now I got the freaking dinky pipe shotgun. Let's go. This thing's so good. What the fuck? The punt gun! Let's go! Anyway. <laughs> I just smoked that pit bull with the freaking... The freaking punt gun. <laughs> Boy, Blake <Blakeridge>. Ridge. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Look, I'm, 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 I'm going to get close to my screen here. Oh, he shot me! Ow! What the f- No! Not the- Freaking throw up, zombie. Th no noise! Just snuck up on me instantly. Just That's cool. Also, uh... This guy's sniped by a freaking RPG. Wow! Let's try it. Let's try getting a little bit closer so I can actually kill people with this thing. Are you kidding me? Nice. Bro got the trash bin as a sh- He's spitting out eggs! I got the damn paddle- Okay, it doesn't matter. Little babies. I can kill the babies with the paddle ball. <laughs> I'm not even hitting them! I had to crouch down to hit these little shits. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that was a snipe. Headshot. Nice. Static meshes are in the way. There we go. Nice. Ooh, I got a katana. 
It was quite a struggle, but eventually I did manage to kill the raiders in the barge. It was well worth it, because they dropped several hefty armor plates for me to use. Gee, I really hope I don't have to do that all over again. Actually, my game crashing? Fuck, my game has crashed. But of course, the randomizer landed on the crash gun this time, and I didn't quick save before it did, meaning that all of that progress was lost, so I had to kill those raiders all over again. Oh, there we go. Yeah! <laughs> that was dope. Dude, that guy survived- Oh, okay, I finished him off though. He was like 1 HP from that, from that little nuke launcher. With a little bit of luck, I was able to kill all the raiders again. Unfortunately though, they didn't drop any useful armor plates this time, so I spent all that time just for it to be wasted. It wasn't all for nothing though, because I could take their loot and then trade it for crafting materials, which I then used to craft armor plates back at home. They were uh, low level ones, but it was better than nothing. Now that I was at least a little bit more prepared, I headed back to Arcjet for round two. I'm just gonna run through here. Oh! Oh, come on. Okay, those things are still OP. Spawning is fully automatic, but it's select or semi auto Look at my strategies to run through. <laughs> oh my. I don't know, man. I don't think it's possible. Come on. He said, Brandy, this is like the Fallout 4 version of Sisyphus pushing the rock up the hill. <laughs> I believe in you, Brandy. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. This is actually brutal right now. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm pushing this rock up the hill, and then it just falls back down. You know? I'm literally just bashing my head against the wall here. And also, I I still think the laser gun's overpowered. That, that thing's busted. I might have to go back and nerf it again. Maybe I'm just getting shot in the head too much. For some reason, he's running around with his bare fist like an idiot. Okay, I'm... That's fucking horse shit! Fuck! This is like a Grandmaster Rainbow Six player. He was just sitting there, like leaning, leaned over with his laser gun, and the very millisecond I peeked around the corner, he's went Brrr! headshot, dead. I don't even know why I keep trying at this point. I should come back later, but I feel like I'm so close. <laughs> Where does that even come from? Where did that even <laughs> okay, I'm getting, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I can't handle this, man. I'm not skilled enough. Yeah, those one-shot scents were driving me insane. They made me go through all the stages of grief in just a few minutes. I probably shouldn't have kept trying so many times. It was truly the equivalent of pushing a boulder up a hill. But hey, I really wanted to challenge myself to see if it was uh, actually possible to win despite the insurmountable odds. Also, I couldn't figure out what was causing the laser gun to do 10 times more damage than normal. So, instead of working smarter by fixing it, I chose to work harder. But as you can see, that didn't turn out too well. Turns out, all my suffering was coming from a mod called True Damage, which overhauls damage calculation. For some reason, the damage for energy weapons was really bugged. They were doing way more damage than intended, and in general, everything was doing more damage. So this whole time, I was unintentionally playing on Nightmare difficulty. Whoops. But as soon as I uninstalled the mod, everything went back to being perfectly balanced. Meaning that no, I won't be getting one shot by a laser gun anymore. Before going back to Arcjet for round 3 though, I decided to save Nick Valentine, because god dang, I needed a break from that hellhole. Surely the goons in the metro would be far easier to deal with than those damn synths. It was the best decision we ever made. Blows up. <laughs> nice. Oh, I got the Karam bit. If this guy's crippled, I can get him. Oh no, his buddy has a machine gun. Don't worry, I'll, I'll hide behind him. <laughs> that was genius. Oh. Ooh, no scope. Let me go knife this dude. I need to stop talking so much and actually go- Ooh, punt gun again, let's go. That didn't kill him? What? What's the spread on this thing? It does like three- It does like 300 damage. In total. Can I shoot? There we go. Okay, he's dead. He's not. I got the finger gun! <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Okay, this is- <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. 
Get a critical. Ooh, a critical headshot. Did 40 damage. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, I'll, get him, I'll get him eventually, guys. I'm going to kill this man. Okay, that didn't work. I was trying to kill that man with my mind, bro. I was trying to go like... You know? <laughs> I'm just going to hide in this corner. I got the finger gun again, too. So that's that's great. That's that's cool. Let me... One damage! <laughs> I can't even aim. Two damage, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nine damage? Okay. Got a little headshot on him. That's pretty good. Oh! What? He's 1 HP! He's one... <laughs> his teammate killed him. Fuck. And he just stole the kill by accident. He killed his buddy with a shotgun. It must be the AA-12. It's a full auto shotty. Wow, 40 di- Who would win? A fully automatic AA-12? Or some guy's using his finger as a gun. <laughs> oh, right shield. Let's go, baby. So look, it actually does work. See? They're shooting my shield. And it's just shaking my... Oh, he shot him. He shot his teammate in the back. <laughs> he killed his teammate. <laughs> They're just shooting each other. They're so stupid. They, they can't get me. I'm invincible. Oh, well. Okay. Never mind. I guess some of the shots do go through. Might be a little bit bugged, but it was working mostly. So like I'm doing okay, one shot that guy though. Headshot, nice. Oof. Nice. Oh, I got a freaking little pocket knife. That's not good. Okay, maybe I can't flank. Oh, headshot. There we go, baby. Oh. Ooh. Let me just There we go. MP443. Damn, it's like this gun should be doing a little bit more damage. Like, are you kidding me? Die. Well, just die already. Come on. Oh. Oof. Right in the face. That's funny. Oh. Oh. How'd that not kill him? What? Okay, that, that had to get him. Got him. Maybe I will if I add more weapons to the randomizer. I didn't notice. That still didn't one shot him? There we go. Oh, is this one bugged? Yeah, this one's bugged. I need to fix this. It's an invisible USP 45. Look, they're gonna mow my ass down as soon as I run in there. Yeah, I'm, this, this is a guaranteed death. I'm already dead. I have one HP. Look at that. This, the, this thing is a humongous piece of shit. Yep. I'm gonna might as well just take the L and just, just roll the dice again. Oh, I got the, dude, I got the diamond sword. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Do you like my sword, 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 my diamond sword, sword? <laughs> I was waiting for this one, man. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be easy kill. Ooh, look at, that was a lot of damage. I mean, it's a diamond sword. This is actually balanced because the diamond sword is actually really good in Minecraft. So, I mean, two-shot kills. Totally fair. Keep talking, meathead. Ooh. Oop. Seriously? <laughs> oh, Thunderstick. Oh, oh, ooh. No. Quick scope. <laughs> Dude, I love that gun. The GM6 Lynx is so based. This one's dope. Oh. You can't. Oh. Oh, no. This might kill me, actually. <laughs> the, the Merv indoors? Might just. Okay, let's just bash him with it. <laughs> <laughs> that was so stupid! I just bashed it with a nuke launcher. Ooh. Striker. Ooh! That was a sweet combo right there. Anyway, let's go, uh... Let's just go and beat all these people up. Oh. I think my game's crashing. I literally said, yeah, my game hasn't crashed yet. We're good. <laughs> you know, they're like way ahead of their time. See? It didn't crash this time. Is this Darla? Get no scope. Oh, my God. oh, I got the I got the rainbow gun. A lot of recoil on that thing. <laughs> shooting, shooting rainbows at that guy. I almost died, but we made it. Well, that wasn't too bad, really. Uh, it could have been much worse. Now with the goons taken care of, I had the confidence to head back to Arcjet for redemption. Earlier, I had gone through all these stages of grief and accepted my defeat. But now, it was time for the true final stage of grief. Revenge. Oh, great. Now he gave me a tomahawk. 
Maybe I can hit him with the hit the tomahawk on his mini nuke and kill him. I missed entirely. Okay. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm edging this super mutant suicider. Oh, like I'll lead him right to this group of people. Who are these people? Are these raiders? Oh god. Ow. They're running to these guys. Don't shoot me. No, they killed him. Ah, oh, dude. He was he was this close too. You know, I'll just worry about those guys later. I want to kill these sense. He shouldn't be dying. See, look, see, look. You look at my health bar. He did an appropriate amount of damage. He took only like ten percent of my health. Okay, I did get shot a few times there. This is actually balanced now. Okay, I still died. Wow. They can still shred you though, but at least it's balanced. Oh wait, I see it now. I was like, how am I using a scope on this thing? There's no scope, but it's 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 mounted on the side. I got shot in the back, didn't I? Um, it's, it's definitely doable, though. It's definitely doable. So if I run in here, and then sneak around. See, it was this guy that killed me last time. There we go. Ow. Okay, jeez. Dude was just tanking those shots. There we go. I think I killed all of them, too. I got some... Oh, wait, there's still one more. What the? What the? Why is his head just floating there? Oh, I got the nerf gun. Oh, no. Oh, no. I did make it through that section, though, so that's good. This damage is so low that it's not even showing up on the floating damage mod. That's how low it is, actually. I did, that did seven damage, though. That did, like, five damage. Oh, let's go! <laughs> that was perfect. Thank you, Dance. I really appreciate that. Huh. Turns out when the laser guns don't one-shot you, it's way easier. Who would have thunk? Now with all of that finally taken care of, it was time to hunt down the bald man. However, there was one major issue. The quest was, uh, completely broken. Both Nick and Ellie refused to talk to me, and console commands weren't working either. I had no clue what the issue was, so I just wandered around aimlessly. A broken man with no purpose. The run was finished, and all my work and suffering was for nothing. But after a while of mindless killing, it finally struck me. The reason why the quest was broken was because Dogmeat was dead. You see, Dogmeat is necessary for this quest because he's the one who sniffs out Kellogg. And uh, remember at the start of the game how both Codsworth and Preston died for uh, seemingly no reason? Yeah, well, the same thing happened to Dogmeat. He most likely got cooked alive off screen by that fire gecko while I ran away like a coward. But now that I figured it out, I could simply resurrect Dogmeat by using console commands. And right as I did, the quest went back to normal. Now, finally, I could continue my mission to kill Mr. Baldman. However, the path to Fort Hagen would prove to be far more difficult than I anticipated. Get this thing away from me! I can't see! Why is- what? What the fuck? Why is this rad rat doing so much damage and eating so many bullets? Okay, I'm gonna go shoot over here. There's something over there. What is that, like a big-ass toad? I killed it. <laughs> that was- Oh, that's a bear. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, there's a ma it's a mag-fed- a mag-fed harpoon launcher. I forgot about that. That's hilarious. Ooh, chainsaw. No, not the thirst zapper! I'm dead. I'm already dead. It does no bash damage. This is literally a joke weapon. I'm literally guaranteed to die at this point. It does, it does no bash damage. <laughs> literally? I'm... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <gasps> it worked! Wait, what? Okay. It worked... And I died anyway, actually. Definitely a skill issue. Yeah, cutting through the forest of death and despair was not a good route to take. So after dying multiple times, I rubbed my last two brain cells together to come up with the brilliant idea to try a different path. Surely, this one would be much easier. Is this, okay, there we go. Oh, great, another melee weapon. That's just what I wanted. Holy moly! There's a lot of... A lot of stuff going on here. Damn, that's a tanky... I got a syringer. Are you kidding me? That doesn't do much damage, though. If I do that, does that... Oh, okay. The And I got the finger gun. Wow, that's just what I wanted. <laughs> Can I kill this giant fucking shrimp with my fingers? <laughs> I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna run away. 
Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh my... I, I, I'm not gonna kill a freaking rad scorpion with a finger. It does one damage. That's, that's not gonna work. I need to retreat. <laughs> Two damage. Wow, that's... That's pretty good. Maybe I can kill this guy. Ooh! Oh, yeah! Dude! I just blew his head up with my mind! <laughs> that was so stupid. Can you... <laughs> what? What is going on? Because out of all the weapons that I have added, I would say maybe like 10 of them are joke weapons that are completely useless. Like the, like the fucking throwing pie. I sort of... Wow, this doesn't do like very much damage. I mean, he's literally a super mutant zombie, so that's why. Or a ghoul, I should say. Are you kidding me? L just let me kill this guy first. Let's oh my lord! Okay. I got killed by fucking bees. You kidding me? It's a nice striker. I can't even see him. Oh, dude, there's a whole swarm! And a bear! I'll punch the bear to death. That's not working. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> Just, I got it. Let's go. How is this bear still alive? Damn. That was a battle royale right there. Ooh, flamethrower. Finally. Whoosh. I'm gonna destroy this feral child. <laughs> oh, no, there's a liquor on my ass. Don't worry, I have the diamond sword. Yeah! Oh. What is this guy? What the hell? Oh! What the f- Oh my god. My game's freezing up. Oh! Of course. Just as I was making good progress, my game crashed, and I didn't quick save. So, I had to do all of that work all over again. Don't worry, though. Things would certainly work out better next time. Please. I'm, I'm dead. I'm already dead. I'm dead. Oh, well, look at that. Oh! Oh, this will work. Oh, my! Oh. I think my shotguns might be bugged, because that was crazy. The amount of numbers on my screen was like... It was like 50 pellets or something crazy, so I think there might be some kind of bug with, like, the shotgun projectile. See, I still got... I got a fucking paddle ball. Okay, he's, he's low, though. I can kill him. I just want to kill him with, with the actual paddles. Got him. Let's go. <laughs> okay. See, that was... The numbers you saw on the shotgun, it seems like too too many pellets. Like, how many pellets was that? That, that felt like it was like 20. Because I've noticed throughout my entire playthrough, it seems like the shotguns are like really powerful. Nice. Nice. Oh. Of course. I'm, I'm dead. I'm literally dead. It, do, it literally does no damage. I'm done. I'm dead. I might as well die. Maybe I should take this gun out of the out of the out of the randomizer. Because the fact that it does zero damage means it's literally just a guaranteed death. What the fuck? Another nightkin? I can't see him. I'm being gang stalked by the CIA! What the hell? I can't even see him. Okay, I got <laughs> Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare! <laughs> I'm dude, you can spam the trigger on this thing. God dang. Go fast. You can it's almost full auto at this point. That's crazy. I'm missing most of my shots, so. Gotta kill him. Nice. Okay, there's too many ghouls on me right now. There we go. Ooh, fat man. That'll be useful. <laughs> oh. And that fat man was so effective it crashed my whole fucking game. And just as I had finally cleared out Forest Grove Marsh, I had landed on the crash gun once again. Even when I play a rigged game and win, the house still finds a way to screw me over by cheating. The game itself was doing everything in its power to stop me from progressing, but I pressed on anyway, for my indomitable human spirit would not allow defeat. But I do have to admit, I was pretty fed up with all this bullshit. So instead of killing all the ghouls in Forest Grove Marsh, I said screw it and ran past them. Now I know you may be wondering why I didn't use this strategy from the very start. Well, it's because that would be too easy, obviously. And I like it hard. Really hard. Like a real man. 
This is a challenge run focused on getting kills with a weapon randomizer after all, so completely avoiding kills at every opportunity would kind of defeat the whole purpose of the challenge. I only resort to a tactical retreat when it's absolutely necessary, and in this case, it is absolutely necessary to keep the game from crashing. So after a long and arduous journey, I had arrived at Fort Hagen. There was still a long battle ahead of me, and the entire place was crawling with synths that had powerful laser guns. They wouldn't be one-shotting me anymore at least, but they could still easily melt me if I wasn't careful. Either way, I was determined to kill Mr. Baldman at any cost, even at the cost of my own sanity. Jeez. Okay, he shot me through the wall, though. That's cool. This is a certified bra moment. Whoa! I'm not... That's very realistic. You ever seen videos of like that where, like, sometimes the gun just goes off by itself? Especially with a shit-ass pipe gun like this? That, that, that would most likely happen at some point. That's very lower accurate, yeah. You got Al You got Alec Baldwin? <laughs> I should be doing wait. Oh my lord. Oh no, I meant to use a stim pack. I'm just... Okay, I'm dead. Now this gun doing low damage against armor makes sense because it's 380. 380 is not armor penetrating, you know. This is not going to be very effective against robots either. Yeah, I might as well just die here, honestly. Just... I can't even shoot through these stupid pipes. Oh, six damage. That's, pre that's pretty good. Yeah, this fucking sucks. This one does... Ooh, concrete. Oh, no. I oh, I'm gonna die. Dude. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Oh, I got another pipe gun. That's hilarious. I'm just getting shit-ass pipe guns back-to-back. -back. Not very effective against robots. As you can see, very little damage. But it's still able to kill them. Nice. Okay, G3. That's good. I got the fucking Thirst Sapper. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I need to, I, just, I should take this out of the game at this point, actually. I'm dead. Zero damage. <laughs> just, okay, just kill me. Kill me! He's, he can't hit me! He's that- what? Bro, had that stormtrooper aim for like half, for like, for a couple seconds there. Ow. Ooh, one shot. That was crazy. Best weapon in the game, baby. Are you kidding me? There's three of them. Nice. Ooh, a deagle. Nice. Dude, okay, yeah. The shotguns are bugged. Did you see how many numbers there were on the screen? There was like 20 pellets. That's not, that's, okay. <laughs> Shotguns are actually OP in my game right now. Something's bugged. I got the fucking throwing shoe. I got the throwing shoe. Are you kidding me? That's hilarious. I can I could kill him. Let me at least try and knock off his other arm. There you go. So I can punch it off. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, oh, whatever. I wanted to finish him with the throwing shoe, but whatever. I didn't realize how, how deadly my fists were. My fists are just so powerful, you know? That was quick. Seriously? Ooh. Ow. Oh, nice! What?! Two miniguns in a row?! What are the chances? Watch, and then I'm gonna get, like, nerf gun, then finger gun, then throwing shoe back to back to back. Ooh, SB-98. That's good. The sound is so beautiful. Okay, Karambit. Okay, that's interesting. I could charge this guy. Don't worry about it. Maybe not. Ow. The glorious XM5. I got the big boy. Apparently the big boy is now a punt gun. <laughs> 600 damage. <laughs> what? Yeah, baby. <laughs> the big boy is a punt gun, bro. <laughs> Do a rainbow six corner peek. There we go. I got the fucking nerf gun, dude. I got the nerf gun. Are you kidding me? Okay. If I sit in this corner, it's actually doing zero damage. It's doing zero damage because the damage resistance is too high on that thing. I have to punch it. 
five damage. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'll, I was dead anyway, man. It's nerf or nothing, man. Apparently it was nothing this time. <laughs> oh, he moved. Throwing shoe. Oh, no, there's a sim. Oh, I'm dead. I might as well just die. I might as well just die, bro. See, through this section, I'm just gonna have to get lucky. Oh my goodness. Okay, M60 is really good. I can't re hold on. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Look at the thirst zapper, and then my game crashes. <laughs> that was just insult to injury. Of course, it's single fire. Still works though. Ooh, shy tech M200 intervention. I missed. That's embarrassing. Nice. What you, where did he go? Did he just crouch it? That's a lot of lasers. I should back up and heal. Uh oh. Oh, oh I shot it. Okay, there we go. I shot his arms off. That's hilarious. I'm just I'm just gonna run to the end of this point. I'm just gonna I can't see. Ow. I can't I cannot see. Okay, I shot his arm off. He's he's been disarmed. Literally. Oh my Am I out of stim packs? Hello? I wonder how many bullets in total my character has eaten. Or how many lasers as well. Ow. Like, that was like three hits. I'm already 1 HP. Getting some, getting some decent rolls at this point, actually. And a minigun? Nice. I get to kill Kelly with a minigun. Let's go, baby. This is gonna be so easy. For everyone looking forward to me killing Kellogg with a with a bad weapon, you ain't getting that because I got a minigun. Finally, Lady Luck is on my side for this one. I got a freaking minigun to kill Kellogg. There he is. He's dead. And a plasma caster. Hello. And a PPSH. Nice. Good pulls. I did it. I finally got it. I finally got the bastard. Oh, I, got, I just got lucky that time. That was way too easy. For all the suffering I've been through, man, I think I deserve an easy win at this point, you know? <laughs> Kellogg's liberal bones couldn't deflect American rounds. <laughs> and his liberal bones couldn't stand the might of 762 at freaking 3,000 rounds per minute. Finally, at long last, I had completed my mission. I had killed Mr. Boldman. Well, obviously, this isn't the final boss of the game. Really, it's just the end of the first chapter. But god dang, the amount of crashes was driving me insane. Like 14 crashes in just the first chapter of the game is really bad. Usually, I'd only get about 2 or 3 crashes max in the same amount of time with the same exact mod setup. Minus the randomizer, of course. So, if I had to take a guess, it seems that the randomizer doesn't play too well on a heavily modded game. Nonetheless, I still tried it anyway, and it was tons of fun while it was working. But if I were to keep going at this rate, then I would probably hit like 50 crashes by the end of the main quest. And dealing with constant crashing isn't very fun. But I kept going anyway, because I just really wanted to kill Mr. Baldman. It most certainly seems possible to beat the whole game, too. You just have to keep trying until you get lucky. But like I said, I ain't gonna do it with this many crashes. It's just way too frustrating for a long-term playthrough. It's much better to work smarter in this case, not harder. So I'll come back later after I figure out how to fix the excessive crashing. For now, I'm satisfied with killing Mr. Baldman as my stopping point. It was certainly a challenging goal to reach. Never before have I died over 50 times just trying to kill Kellogg. If you guys really enjoyed this epic journey of pain and suffering, then I'll be sure to revisit the randomizer with even more wacky guns. For now, that's all I've got. Remember to nuke that like button, and I'll see y'all in the next one. But before we go, I have to give a big thanks to my boys from War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Their support allows me to keep making these awesome videos for y'all. So, you guys ought to check it out using my link in the description. It's incredibly based, I tell ya.